Hello, welcome to Andrew Lavery Show, where we talk about investing in the stock market and where we talk about using the stock market to build wealth so we can all become self-made millionaires. In this video, we're going to take a look at a little-known ETF called the ProShares S&P Mid-Cap 400 Dividend Aristocrat ETF, or REGL for short, there's their ticker symbol. So I think I was going to call them, I'll just call them Regal throughout the rest of this video instead of saying that giant long name that they actually are. So uh, we're going to take a look at Regal here. And like I say, it's a little known ETF, but this ETF has some massive dividend growth in its short history. The compound annual growth rate of this dividend is 19.05% in just a short six-year time period, averaging 19.05%. That is huge. Now, if we invest consistently every single month in Regal, take the dividends they pay, reinvest them back into the ETF to buy even more shares, assuming they can maintain a 19 plus percent compound annual growth rate, how much will we be getting in dividends in the long run? And just how much will the shares of Regal be worth in the long run as well? We're going to take a look at that here in this video. Before we move on, I want to encourage everyone to hit that like button, hit subscribe button and notification bell. I post new videos all the time. All right, so what we're looking at here is my dividend calculator. I built this myself in Microsoft Excel. We're going to focus mostly on the snapshot section for this video. However, the snapshot section is fed from the left side of the calculator, where you get a year-by-year, month-by-month look at your investment all the way up to 45 years down the road. All right, moving on up here. Come on over just a little bit. This calculator reinvests dividends automatically. There's no way to turn that off. And all numbers produced are estimates only because no one can predict the future. All right, I've gone ahead and filled in three of the inputs that we need, the average dividend yield, the current annual dividend per share, and this is this happens to be the six-year compound annual growth rate. Regal's only been around since 2015, so we have six full years of dividend history. We're, they're working on the seventh right now. Uh, that is 2022. But we have six full years, so this happens to be the six-year compound annual growth rate, 19.05%. I'm going to start off with $50 a share, work our way up to $4,000, and if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll let you know what I think a fair share price is for Regal as well and how I came up with that fair share price. All right, so $50 a month here. Now, massive, massive growth in this dividend. Look, at we got 16 over 1,600% yield on cost. That's massive, huge. Um, this total invested column, let me just back up real quick. The total invested column is just your monthly investment amount. It does not include reinvested dividends. So after 45 years, you've invested a total of $27,000. And you're getting 441000 almost $442,000 back in dividends every year. That's where you're getting your 1,600% yield on cost. So massive yield on cost. And it's really being driven by this compound annual growth rate of 19%. Now, can Regal maintain a 19% compound annual growth rate? I have no idea. I think in the long term, it's going to be very difficult to maintain such a high one. Uh, there might be times where it, it dips down, maybe it falls to 10%, 8%, and then climbs back up again to the 19% range. I could see that happening for sure. Uh, but as of right now, this is what they're averaging every single year, at least since 2015 when this fund was started. So, But I do want to play with this fund, with this growth rate a little bit, just because it's, I, I would say, unlikely that they can maintain this year over year, especially for the next 45 years or more. Uh, maybe in the short term, they can maintain a 19% growth rate in the dividend. They say the next 5, 10 years tops. But in the long run, I think it's going to be difficult. So I want to show you. You can see here we got $441,000 plus in annual dividend income with $50 a month invested. That sounds too good to be true, right? Now let's say if the compound annual growth rate were to drop, say it were to go to 9%, which is still a very good growth rate for the dividend. Um, watch. 400, almost $442,000 goes way down to almost $16,000. So big, big difference um, if if the if the compound annual growth rate falls to uh, 9% or somewhere around the 9% range. But we're going to leave it at 19.05%. I'll play with it a little bit throughout the video, but as of right now, this is what, what they're growing at. Uh, let's bump this up to $150. Obviously, the numbers are going to be absolutely huge, very, very large. You got 1.3 million in dividends here at 45 years, almost 26,000 at 25 years, and we'll go $400. And not to mention, too, I mean, I focus a lot on dividends, but portfolio value right here, just the value of the shares. You'd be potentially a millionaire with $400 a month invested, potentially a millionaire by year 20. 
Uh, you got 25500 and some change in dividends coming in at year 20. You got over $3.5 million coming in at 45 years. And we'll go, let's go 750 Go 1000 Feel free to pause the video at any point to take a longer look at the numbers. Now, if you'd like a copy of this dividend calculator, down below in the description is a link to my listing on Fiverr.com where you can purchase a copy of the calculator for just $5. You make your purchase. Within 24 hours, I will send you a message on Fiverr with the calculator attached to it. Very, very simple, very easy. And you get the quarterly calculator. That's what we're using now. But there is a monthly version of the calculator in the same Excel file for those monthly dividend paying companies and ETFs. So you get two calculators in one. All right, so jumping back over here. Um, now let's play with the compound annual growth rate again before we up this monthly investment amount. Let's say it falls to 13%. Watch what we can do here. So we got 170, we call it $173,000 here at year 25. Knocks it way down to 64,500. Uh, still very good numbers here. I mean, I, w I would love to have a, uh, a regular growth rate of 13% every year. I, mean, I would never turn that down. But it just it really does show that this 19%, if they if they can't maintain it, if it gets cut down to even something very still very good, like a 13%, it's going to make a big difference in your numbers going forward. So just something to keep in mind here. But as of right now, like I said, they do have a 19% growth rate in their dividend. On average, that is. We'll bump this up to 1500 and we'll go 2000 over 17.6 million, two, almost 2.5 million here at year 35, 345,000 at year 25, and 2500. We go 3000, almost $10 million here at year 40. Uh, you're hitting the millionaire mark by year 10 potentially with um, with $3,000 a month invested. 23,500 dividends also coming in at that point. Gives you about a 6.5% yield on cost. And we'll go 3,500 and $4,000. So absolutely massive, massive numbers here. I'll play with the compound annual growth rate one more time. Say it falls to an even 10%. So almost cutting the compound annual growth rate in half. Uh, we've got 30, $35.3 million, $35 million here in dividends at year 45. And now we got $1.7 million, almost $1.8 million in dividends coming in. So that just really shows, like, again, I'm just stressing that to you. You can look at these numbers here and say, wow, I'm going to jump in on Regal and I'm going to make a fortune in a relatively short period of time, relatively short, not overnight. Obviously, it's still, it'll still take you a little bit of time, but... Um, fairly quickly, you can uh, build some serious dividend growth or some serious dividend income with a 19% annual growth rate. But if if that growth rate does fall, even to something still very, very good, like a 10%, even a 8%, 9%, uh, it's going to cut into your future numbers here significantly. So uh, what is a fair share price for Regal? Let's take a look at that. Currently, the share price as of today, which is July 28, 2022, the share price is $71.48. I calculate a fair share price to be $63.45, which puts them about 12.6% overvalued at this time. Uh, and the way I figured that $63 out is first I got the average dividend yield. Average dividend yield 2.3%. And I did that by going back to January 1st, 2018. I found out what the annual dividend was on that date. I got the closing share price in that date, and then from there just divided those two together to get the dividend yield for January 1st, 2018. I did that for all these dates you can see here on the side, got all the dividend yields, and then averaged them together to get 2.3%. From there, I take the current annual dividend that they're paying, which is $1.46, divide that by the average dividend yield, and that's how I come up with $63.45. So that's how I figured that out. Definitely do your research, though, in Regal. If it, these numbers look fantastic and very tempting and say, oh, I want to get jump in there and uh, get a, get some of that compound annual growth rate in my portfolio, by all means, go right ahead and do that. But always, always do your own research to see if Regal fits into your investment goals, if it's just something that you think will be worthwhile in the long term and will uh, help you build some significant wealth, wealth that you can enjoy and that you can pass down to your kids, too. Yeah, when you pass away, you can build that, help build that generational wealth starting with you. 
All right, well, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button, hit subscribe button, and notification bell. Remember, I post new videos all the time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.